Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I'm Nye, our win streak has hit negative 108, and we are still losing. It's like hearing your pilot when you're on an airplane going, Ladies and gentlemen, we are currently losing altitude. We, uh, we're at 20,000 feet and still falling. You, you don't want, you, just the words you do not want to hear when you're on an airplane. Do those pilots actually exist? Someone told me, or at least I heard a story saying that they had actually had one of those pilots that actually do the, uh, thing. I've never had one of those pilots. I've also never had the tour guide pilot, the one who wants to, like, you know, tell you if you look at the left side. If you look out the left side of your plane. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look out the window, you can see the Grand Canyon on your left. I've never had one of those pilots. Not that I've really been on planes all that much. It's not, it's never been a big thing. My mom was afraid of planes for a very long time. Never really figured out why. She does, I guess she just fell into the whole, um, you know, just, oh my god, planes, they're so, uh, they're so dangerous, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. You know, so she was in that for a long time, and she, uh, eventually when we adopted my sister from China, she eventually had to deal with being on a plane, right? You know, it was something she had to deal with. Uh, what is that going to be? The Emperor? I'll take the Hermit. This actually gets me into there, and it means that I can do it when I want to. I'm really hoping, that's two teleport cards, let's really hope that there's going to be a, uh, curse room on this floor. Nope. Let's pop into here. Um, sure, we'll go with this one. The Habit. Terrible. Unfortunately, no way to know what that one was going to be. I guess we'll go with the other card. I can maybe use on the next floor. Oh, uh, what if the other what if the other item was magic fingers, you know? And we get a really powerful run this time? Man. Let's hope not. We do get Larry Jr. I've had some bad times with Larry Jr. as of late, so let's hope this is not one of them. Just gotta not play so close to him. Let's kind of let uh, let ourselves be a while away from him. Nope, do not come anywhere near me, you pain in the ass. Now, it seems like the Larry Jr. poops do not actually have any items in them. That's the, that's the impression I've gotten from these uh, fights against Larry Jr. as of late, where I've been... You know, fighting him for a long time, there's a lot of poop. You'll notice that nothing has dropped so far. I wonder if uh, having petrified poop would have actually made something drop. Oh, I almost got hit there. Jesus Juice for a damage plus range up? I'll take it. We're just going to go down. I don't feel like... Like, I've never found something in one of those poops, I don't think. So I don't think there's any uh, big harm. I'm just dropping down here. Now, we do have a boss trap room. Is there anything in it that's good? One gray chest, not worth it to me. Now, if we get, like, two bombs... Oop, okay, that was really close. If we get two bombs and then, um, you know, need a third to go and open up that, uh... Well, I'm dead. <laughs> I kind I just saw that coming. Okay. D4. Okay, this could be really good if I can just survive long enough to use it. Which is really unlikely, honestly. But the D4, uh, okay. The D4 allow me to just re-roll stuff every uh, every six rooms. Just re-roll anything I don't want. Just get as many items as I can and just hope for a powerful run. That's what we have to do. So now it doesn't matter what we pick up. It, we can pick up anything. I mean, I'm not going to re-roll with something like the safety cap, but it doesn't matter what this item is. If this item is not good, we're going to re-roll it immediately. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of as many of the pooters as possible. We do have a penny in the middle. And hopefully if we get a really good run and we can get some and we can get uh magic fingers. I'm just I'm I'm really hoping we'll have a magic fingers run like we did the other time. When it was so powerful that I was two shotting bosses with the money that we had. I would really love for that to be the case. Oh, that was really close. Okay, what is this item? We'll come out and poop in uh in a minute. How to jump? Unfortunately, I cannot D4 that. I mean, it's kind of, kind of like, of course, I get an item that I can't D4. But, um... Okay, 
We have shop money, though. So now we have to go find the shop, and we have to actually be able to find a key to get into the shop. Just gotta be careful. And I will buy just about anything, especially if it's half, half price. Please give me half price shop items that I can reroll. I would love that. Stay over here, kill the maw, be careful about it, and let's go ahead and break some more poops. We had a lot of poop today. Nothing to D4 just yet, unfortunately, but hey, we do have two, count them, two boss rooms coming up. There's the petrified poop, finally. I will take that over the, uh, over the safety cap. Okay, there's a key. We will be going into our shop with 16 cents, which is exciting. And hopefully the D4 will lead itself to being something good. Just gonna let that blow him up. No potential uh, secret room, unfortunately. Not yet, at least. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go after this guy first. Oh, these ones don't blow. These aren't the blow. blow these aren't the uh, ones to blow themselves up. Okay, well we'll go after the ones that aren't shooting at us, just because that guy's way over there, and I can live with him being way over there. Remember that certain passive items with the D4 will stick around. For example, if I can get Guppy, um, the D4 will just give me Guppy. And it can, if it can give me, uh, you know, nine lives, for example, unfortunately we won't know it without looking at a without looking for the for the uh, head. So we got to look for the head, which would mean a very different thing if this was like a military ship that we were talking about. We gotta look to see if we get uh, the Guppy's head. If we do get Guppy's head, well, that's amnesia. That's not all that good. If we do get Guppy's head, we just have to basically we have to hold on to it. You know, at that point, D4 no longer no becomes good. Or if we find out that we have, um, if we find out we have Holy Mantle, which unfortunately I don't know the visual cue for. I think it's that uh, like kind of jagged white line around your feet. But I don't know if that effect happens with uh, a flying character. Okay, what do we have? Another thing that I can't D4. You're giving me nothing but active items. That's annoying. I can't D4 that. That's terrible. Okay, we found one of our bosses. Now, I can't think of very many active items that are in the boss trap pool. I don't, th or boss pool. I don't know if there are any, honestly. Okay, Steven. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop that. Didn't really help all that much. Gave us a little bit of damage on Steven. Was a very risky maneuver, I will say. Okay, Steven does have very little health. I want to get rid of the baby. Because it just shoots nonstop. And now we're in a very dangerous proposition. we got to remember that the baby and Steven both explode into bullets when they die. Okay, let's just do that. Okay. I want to get rid of one of them. I don't care which one. Preferably the baby, actually, if I can help it. It should be close. Come on, die. There we go. And I don't really care what item I get. Little Steven is fantastic. That will definitely help me with the next fight. Which is gonna be not monstro. Okay. Just not get hit by anything monstro fires. Okay. Just kind of want monstro in the middle, so I don't have to worry about these corners. Having him in the middle section just makes it a lot easier for me to deal with him. Uh, little Steven. It's kind of an amazing find. Doing some great work for me. Amazing. Okay. So that'll give me matchstick. I'm really glad that we'll be re-rolling this because it doesn't help me much. What does the devil give me? The devil gives me the mark. It's going to really suck to... Well, let's just re-roll now. Okay. So we got... Uh, looks like Sad Onion plus Harlequin Baby. And we'll go ahead and take the mark. Okay. So that's good for now. We're definitely going to want to keep re-rolling, I think. Because this is not the most amazing set of items. But it's pretty good for now, at least. Okay, come on. That's right. Come on, just 
keep doing your jumping bullshit. Damage is pretty good, at the, at the very least. We got the stars card. So we can go into a curse room. If one presents itself. Yeah, our damage is actually pretty good. We, did we get... Yeah, Sad Onion, the Mark, and that's about it. Okay, so pretty good. Let's go ahead and check right here for Secret Room. Yep. And we find... Basically, we're hoping for... Uh, we're going to leave that there. Just so I can see about uh, getting another battery usage um, potential... Or another usage of the... Uh, D4, if I get another series of bad items. If I, you know what, I'm okay staying with this set if it turns out that we get some really good items in the very near future. But if we get some bad items, I'm really okay with re rolling it too. Like, I have no, uh, no compunctions about re rolling, um, some of these items. I'm amazed I didn't get hit by that because I was not paying attention to that. Because we can definitely find better items than the mark. Mark's good, but we can definitely find some better items, possibly. And Harlequin Baby, not all that good. Sad Onion is pretty decent, but um, you know, if we can find something better, we can find something better. Like, that's all there is to it. Like, that's the only thing I have on my mind is, can I find something that is a better item than this? Can I find a better setup? And the answer is, of course you can. Okay, what do we got in here? Uh, I will pay 15 cents for Pandora's Box, which will give me... Uh, lunch meat, I, a rotten meat. I think that actually counts as a reroll item. And actually, the fact that it could give me an item is actually why I bought Pandora's box in the first place. Okay. Good stuff. Looking for our item room. Do I want to go to the boss room? Let's go to the boss room right now. Uh, I forget what this is called. Polycephalus, I believe, is the name of this boss. That was really kind of scary where that went. Just go up, hide here. Let him fire. Oh, he's just not going to stay around, is he? Oh, he just spawned one of these guys. I don't even know he could do that. Come on. Oh, I didn't know he could do that either. I, I never fight face this boss outside of the womb for longer than 15 seconds. Like, he dies so easily. Okay, Jesus Juice giving me a damage up, which is great. Can I get Brimstone? Um, I really don't like this the fact that we're in this fight, honestly. I feel as if I'm going to get killed. Yep. Damn it. It's ex yeah. It's exactly the thing I didn't want to happen. Common Cold being another one of the really common items that we seem to find as lost. I mean, that's exactly what I was worried was going to happen, was that we were going to get Brimstone. I should have just left. I should have just teleported out, but I was thinking maybe we can D6 this, you know? Maybe we can make that happen. So I just made the stupid decision and just stayed inside that fight. Which I, I'm going to be 100%. That was a really stupid decision on my part. Oh, there is a Mullaboom. Okay, there is a Mullaboom on this setup. Something just gave me a chest. I'm not quite sure what exactly it was that did that. Maybe a Tinted Rock that I didn't see? Hadn't been on the lookout for it yet? I just need to remember, if I, you know, do not deal with Krampus at all. You know, if you're in a Krampus fight, just get the hell out. I mean... There's not really much that Krampus can give you that you're really going to want anyways. What do we got in here? Got a key and a key beggar. Uh, can't help you, buddy. I was actually going to blow him up, but I don't have a bomb to blow him up with. So you live to fight another day, bud. By my own lack of consumables. Well, I could go blow him up now, but... I'm feeling a little bit lazy, feeling a little bit uh, charitable. We won't go and blow up the Key Beggar, the Key Master, whatever his name is. I kind of like the Key Master as his name. Wow, that was just a random just shot that out of the blue hit me. 
I love it, the big fat guy is kind of walking in, in time with the music. I wonder if that's intentional. Double bombs. Not very likely that we're going to be finding a secret room there. You know, right next to the curse room. As much as I hate to say it. Can I please... I think that if I got Holy Mantle now, I'd probably be able to pull off the pull off the run. And instead, we get... I'm just going to reset because Satanic Bible does not do anything for us whatsoever. Just worthless item. And if we're on the first... I mean, the first item room of any run... If it's an item that doesn't do anything for us, I feel like that. I feel really just justified in resetting. I really do. And I'm going to reset here, too, because big room. <sighs> I'm setting up my own rules. Leave me alone. With with a nug with, with negative, like, 120 runs under my belt with uh, on the Lost, you know. I just, I just want to... I'm so, I just don't want to be done with it. I will come back to the Lost when we have every item unlocked and play as Lost for fun in the future. And just if I lose, <laughs> that, well, that was fun. You know, that's that's where I want to be with uh, be at with the Lost. You know, I want to be at that moment. Okay, well, we know where to come if we get a key. Hey, look, we know we knew where to go if there was a key. Fifteen cents. So, hey. Shop first floor seems like a pretty normal thing with the loss. I really don't get it. The loss just seems to make that happen so damn much. Okay, I'm gonna take care of the uh, that one in a second here. I just want to get rid of that pink one that shot twice. Okay, 15 cents, bunch of bombs, and uh, lard. You know what? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go a little bit further. Yeah, lard doesn't help us. In fact, it does slow us down. Probably shouldn't even taken it, honestly. But I'm gonna keep going because with that 15 cents, there's a chance that I could get something really nice out of our uh, out of our room. Hey, here's the rules card. Shove dislike smoke. Who heard it first? You heard it here first. That's right. These things always cycle to the left, or I feel like I see them cycle in two different directions. That might be one of the reasons why I have such weird issues with these enemies, with those flies specifically. I think they cycle in different directions sometimes. That's a bit of a problem. Okay. Let's go ahead and pop that right there. No such luck. Speed up. Probably could have used, uh, or probably needed to speed up after, um, come on you. Just pop that right there just in case he comes anywhere nearby. He didn't. Small rock, exactly what I was hoping for. Gives me a little bit of a damage up. Nothing amazing. Not going to be able to go to this particular item room, it looks like, or shop room. No! I was already moving to the right, but the acceleration was too low. Oh, God. And there's that. Well, you know, I get to I get to say to myself that we only had lard, so we didn't lose anything real big on that one. These are butt bombs. Um, well, I mean, if I can get Pyro, right? If I can get Pyro, these could become really good. Like, that could be an amazing thing. Let's go ahead and pop one of those right there. Worked exactly as I had hoped. We'll pop another one right there on the off chance that's the secret room. It wasn't. Wasted that bomb. You know, that's okay. There will be more in the future. Speed down. Because I needed another one of those. You know, we could always get buy one, get one for bombs. We could always, uh... There's a lot of things we could get. Secret room's probably to my right there. I have no idea why that one didn't fire. And that one did fire. I just wasn't ready for it. That was legitimate, wasn't ready. That had nothing to do with... Uh, acceleration or anything like that. That way I was legitimately not ready for him to fire and not ready to dodge. You know, sometimes that happens. Oh, that was close. We have a potential secret room. Directly to my left here. Well, directly beneath me now, but... Could happen. Come on. Just die. Gotta hope that it's there. Okay, um, probably not there, unfortunately. 
given where uh, given where the other rooms are in relation. I really wish. Come on, stop! I hate it when they dodge like this. When they do this constant back and forth nonsense. And this guy is going to be one of those that I have to kill multiple times. But he's going to spawn flies as soon as he dies. Okay, that went a lot easier than I, was, than I thought it was going to. We'll go to the uh, long room first. We're really hoping that we'd find our um, item room off the long room. Can I hit this guy from over here? <coughs> well, it's a real recording now. That's an arrow! It means something! No. Doesn't mean anything at all. Okay. Excellent. It means in this room you will get stuff. Let's keep searching. You're probably gonna find a secret room right here, right? No? Okay. I have hope. No. That's a waste. Well, there is my item room and my shop. Still actually haven't found a place for the secret room to be. Could be conjoining the item room and the shop. That's actually a possibility for it. And that's probably where it is if I had to make a guess with a bomb I don't have. Bomb I do have. Guillotine again. I really dislike this item. It shows up way too much now. Like, it's been showing up an awful lot. Okay. Now, we do have almost enough money to make a shop a possibility, so... Kind of hoping that we'll be able to make that happen. Yeah, I'm just kind of firing a little bit blind into this section. I'm trying to kill these pooters before they have a chance to do anything. Um, if we can get ourselves a key, shop is definitely a possibility, but I think I just heard the rooms open. I don't think we got a key. I'm going to go ahead and blow up all the poops. Because uh, hope springs eternal that we'll get something off of them. No? Oh, come on. Okay. So there's the money we need. A lot of the money we need. See if we can hunt down a key. I've got to just be very careful. Do not put myself against a wall because, you know, can't do anything with that. Okay. Like, I'm not having much trouble actually hitting him. Whoop. I need to watch out for that. So I have to actually pull myself off the wall and kind of off the maximum range uh, in order to make sure that uh, I can still hit him. Okay, this is going to make things a little bit difficult, because I have to dodge, and yeah. My head was in front of my body, so I couldn't see where my body was. I think, I think the guillotine needs to be one of those auto-restart buttons. I, I might need to do that. Okay, thank you, Curse the Maze. Okay, this could be good. Okay. Okay, so we got some stuff. Um, $3 bill, I'll take it. I like it as an item. Um, it could help, definitely. Then if I can get some other random abilities like Liberty Cap or something like that. Okay, well, that's not where I wanted to be, but sure. Triple Shot's amazing. Really good effect. I'm always liking Triple Shot, always liking Quad Shot, just giving me the ability to fire multiple shots in so I don't have to, uh worry about it as much about hitting as many items or as many shots it's kind of important to me now what's odd I don't see a place for the secret room to be just yet and you know we might not have one but I gotta remember is I can't get used to having triple shot or quad shot because I don't get to I don't get to hold on to them number one okay so secret room probably below me I love that these things move just slow enough that I can still uh, squirm around them like that. Okay, secret room is not going to be below me because that rock's there. 
God, but it's so, like, it seems like it should be. Wow. It really seems like it should be there. It can't be, but it seems like it should be. Probably not going to find a secret room on this floor because of that. No idea what my tier effect is. I mean, we might not even have one at the moment, but... So we've got another Larry Jr. Oh, this is so damn dangerous. So I don't know what causes the explosion. But the explosion off my own tiers, off of this tier effect, could just flat kill me. Now it does cause fire, which is good. There we go. Dog food is terrible. Uh, we're just going to move on. Okay. Curse of the Maze on Cellar 2. Well, we did have Curse of the Maze last floor. Uh, looks like we have Proptosis, but it's not a really good effect of it. Like, it's just only barely hitting. And it just it doesn't really have all that much damage. And I just get killed by a spider that moves a lot further than I was expecting it to. Well, so much for that. The only reason I'm going to keep this particular seed is because we have this golden poop here. Because between that and the other poops, we could have a really expensive run going on here. Could have a lot of money going for us. And that could potentially be good, um, you know, if we can get a Magic Fingers run going on. I really keep on hoping for it, because that would be such a good run. <sighs> the spiders, just the spiders. That said, that Proptosis was kind of ridiculous. I kind of feel as if I should, I should get the damage of Proptosis if you're going to give me the effect of Proptosis. Because, I mean, if you give me... Um, if you give me, you know, my reflection with Ipecac, I still have to deal with Ipecac. So it should go the other way around, right? Like if you give me if you give me the item, I should get the effect. Or if you give me the effect, I should get the full effect, not this neutered, you know, little pansy effect. Because that meant I had to get a lot closer to that guy than I wanted to. So this is an XL floor. I'm gonna get two items here. Hmm. Really hope we get some good stuff. The money situation is already good, but we're going to miss out on a shop. So that's... There's there's a negative there, but I'm not sure how bad of a negative it is. We will get our deal with the devil on this floor. That could hopefully be good. Definitely want to see if we can get to... Um... Okay, I hit him a couple times. Bomb. Okay, so I really seriously doubt that uh, we're going to be able to get into this secret room. Unless that I unless I get some sort of teleportation card or teleportation pill. Which is not amazingly likely. I will say, I am very pleased that we do not have to uh, use keys to get into our floor one item rooms any longer. That definitely works well for me. Come on, where's my item rooms? Where are my item rooms? They're probably right together somewhere. Wherever they are, they're together. Whoa, that was just a clusterfuck that I just somehow navigated my way through. No idea how that happened. <laughs> Actually happened uh, tonight. Um, we were sitting uh, with a bunch of family and friends and we were just chit-chatting, just the adults. And, uh, so I let an F-bomb slip. I said the word fuck. I forget what it was. It was something very, very innocuous. Like, I was using it as, you know, I was using it as an adjective. You know, that fucking, so some, something that affects, and I cannot believe I actually took that hit there. That was really stupid. They, they got off sync. I was, I was thinking, like, they're all gonna keep shooting at the same time. No, they got off sync, and that just cost me. Um, yeah, I was, I, I said the word there. And, like, my mom's like, oh, what, why, why do you have to say that? You see what's wrong with my kids? And I'm like... Wait, 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 what? And I turn, I look at the other two who are sitting in the room, the other two adults, one of which is my uncle, one of which is uh, uh, a, a man that my mom is uh, enamored with. So we're going to take the nail. Um, I'm only going to use it for the damage up ability, because I can't really use it for much else. 
but uh, man, she's enamored with. So, and you know, they look at her and they just kind of nod because only they like, yes, you know, kids these days, yada yada yada. And I went, wait, 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 what is that word that you so often like to say just to get a rise out of people? And so the word I'm thinking of is bitch. Now it used to be that my mom was this super clean cut uh, person. She never cursed. She never did anything. And then one one day, uh, I I don't know what really came over her, but I think it was the internet. And eventually, she, like, said the word bitch, and it just cracked her up for some reason. I never figured out what her fascination was, but I think it was the allure of the fact that she never cursed. So, the fact that she was cursing, um, with, with a word that was so common, yet she could put such force behind it, was just amazing to her. So, you know, and she would, she would so emphasize, that bitch! Like, it was just so emphasized. Uh, so it was always, you know, it was always really hilarious. Uh, and then she would crack up a little bit because she she could never keep it with a safe. Uh, she never say it with a safe. Never could never say it with a straight face. There we go. Uh, she could never say it with a straight face. Bombs are key. Doesn't really matter. I can see forever. Cool. A monster's lung could be good. Yeah, she could never say the word with a straight face. So what ended up happening? Awesome. Anything good in here? We got a couple of bombs. Nothing amazing. Okay. Um, but that's not where she went with it. So she decided that I meant a different word entirely. So she went, oh, fu uh, fuck? And I'm like, wait, wait, wait. That's the word, you know, I say that and that's the word you think of? You know, it was this really odd and, well, there we go. It was this really odd and off-putting, um you know, thing. It's you, you never think of your mom saying, uh, you know, saying fuck. Like, it's it's not, you know, especially my mom. Like, it wasn't, you know, well, and so her, her response is that, well, nurses curse like sailors. And I'm like, well, yeah, you are a nurse. But it was just, I, I don't know when the moment happened when my mom went from bitch being the word of, uh, the word of the day to fuck being the word of the day. And she ended up actually using the word more often than I did. So, it was like, you know, number one, what type of, uh, uh, what type of hypocrite are you where you're, uh, you know, you're getting on my case for saying that word when it's the one you use to get a rise out of people. So, you know, number one, it's that. But number two, it's... <laughs> you know... Well, actually, that's just it. And then using it more often than I did. I mean, that's just, you know... There's just times when you sit there going, well... This, uh, this seems a little bit lopsided, you know. If you're going to be yelling at me for this, you shouldn't be doing it, too. Like, it's one of those things that I guess only parents can pull off. It's just one of those deals, you know? Yep. And then, you know, I really... And I said, well, you know, when I use the word, I just kind of use the word in a casual, everyday setting. And it really... I think, it, I think when you do that, it takes the impact off the word. You're using it to make an impact. I believe that's true. I really do believe that if we have certain words, and this doesn't work for every word, I know there are very specific words that I will not even say uh, that I don't think this works on, but I think that in some cases, when you use a word, if you if you use it a lot, you can gradually take the impact off of it. And this can be a lot of things. Like, if you use the word, you know... Oh, what's a good word? You know, uh, like, it's, it's, I think it's partly, it has a little bit to do with that idea that if you use a word too many times, all of a sudden you can no longer remember what the hell that word means. It, it's, it's something like that, right? Uh, you, you can kind of no longer figure out, well, what does that word actually mean to me? Uh, please be bombs? Ooh, nice. Okay, so we're definitely going to be able to go into this curse room. So if you use a word too many times, you kind of lose the meaning of what that word is. I mean, that's just me. I don't know if you guys agree, but I feel that you can, like, if you say the word that, so pl say it over and over in your head. That, 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 After a certain so many times, the the word just no longer means anything to you. And you might have that moment where you're sitting there and you're looking at such a, such a weird uh, word. You're like, if? Is that how you spell if? I-F? That can't be right. There has to be another letter in there. And you end up having that moment. And um, I think that with certain words, especially curse words, I think you can have that moment quite often, especially if you use the curse words a lot. I think that you can, uh, by using those words, you kind of rob the words of whatever power they used to have. And, um, you know, it becomes, the pejorative goes away. 
Now, does this necessarily need to happen to every word? No. I mean, you know, we we need to have some kind of exclamation that we can say. But I think the exclamation changes from time to time. You know, I think that for you know for some it may actually be the word fuck. For some it may be the okay. That was really damn close. Um, you know, it may be, uh, geez, it may be, you know, there's a lot of words it can be, and, uh, you know, there's, there's something to be said for, uh, knowing thy audience, you know, and, um, being able to say that, you know, I understand that my audience will, will or will not be, uh, upset by my use of the word that, and, uh, you know, I need to be careful, because my audience really doesn't like the word that, like, you, you have to be careful about that. But I think there's just, there's no reason to limit the usage of words because you don't like them, because the words are only, they only have what we put in them. I remember there being this book, I read it when I was a kid, I mean, it was it was meant to be a grade school book, so it wasn't this grand old teaching, right? A book called Frindle, some of you may know it, and the entire idea was some kid in the middle of his class, he's a... Uh, they're they're having basically the same the same concept that I'm talking about now. Uh, he, uh, you know, his teacher is bringing up that we only put uh, the only meaning our words have is that meaning which we give them. You know, there's it's ah god damn it he went that guy ran so far. Cost us death's touch too. I was really hoping that death touch would be able to carry us a while. Um, yeah, but the the word only carries so much weight, you know, you can, it only does so much, if we don't give it the meaning, it doesn't have the meaning, so, and I think the idea was partly the idea of invented words, was what the book really was going off of, that, you know, someone can just invent a word, really, we can just invent a word, sure, you know, if we all agree it's a word, it's a word, and the, the kid, he starts out by, he decides to call his, uh, call his pencil a friendle, like F-R-E-N-D-L-E, or something to that effect, <laughs> yay, Mr. Boom, so, he calls it. A, he calls his uh, calls his pencil friendle, and he gets kind of in trouble with in, in school because his teacher doesn't like the fact that he's using a made-up word, and he decides to make a whole. He, he decides to make just like a national problem out of this, basically, and tells all of his friends, "Hey, call your pencils friendles. Let's you know, let's 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 do this." And eventually gets his uh, gets the word put into the uh, into Webster's dictionary, and eventually comes back to. Uh, you know, tell his teacher, kind of a big deal, and the book ends with him having his own pencil factory, uh, called The Friendle. And, you know, it was, it was a cute book, there was nothing adult about it, nothing just, n no huge revelations, right? But it was this cute idea, and I think that is probably where I started just thinking, you know, if you don't give the word that power, if you don't say that, uh, this word is that big of a deal. It's not anymore. It just it just suddenly fails to be important. And I kind of I love that idea that Wow. <laughs> we just two golden chests. Wow. I love that idea that the word just loses its power. I'd love to well, well, okay then. I love the idea that we can just take a word's power away from it and that we can just by just Using it or not using it or saying that it has a different wow. I am dying really quickly lately By using it or not using it by giving it dip by using the word differently We can just change the way it the way it works and I mean some of that like who the hell came up with the word twerking? Who, who came up with that who decided that the rapid up and down movement of the buttocks when facing you would be considered to be twerking? I, I only just, I only learned about the word, like, I was not involved in those videos at all, had never seen one before, and I actually heard the word kind of from elsewhere, uh, and I was, it was a really weird word all of a sudden here, and I couldn't really figure out what the hell it was, all I knew was it was a really odd thing, and that people were kind of laughing at it, and it was humorous, and that was kind of all I learned about it, and then I went and actually saw one of those videos, and I went, what the hell, and that was kind of my experience with working, but that word just suddenly became something. Because someone used it, that word became something. And that's a fantastic thing. You know, duck face and... You know, I, there's also stuff like, you know, every day you use the word meme. Well, not every day, but, you know, ch chances are you probably use the word meme a lot, right? It's not that uncommon of a word. We, a lot of people use it fairly frequently. 
So we have our word meme. That got coined in what? I think it was 1960s, 1970s. It was meant to refer to an idea that very, that what, that, like, an earworm of an idea. An idea that was so easy to spread. It just kind of infects the mind. Um, or maybe it's not. Maybe that's not what, uh, what meme started as. I can't even remember anymore. Maybe meme started as, uh, what was it? Just a, a meme is just an idea. Not even, not necessarily an, an easily spread idea. Just an idea to begin with. Just someone came up with that word. And it's not even that old of a word. And we have words that are not even that old. And we have words that are really damn old. I can't remember some. If you actually go, uh, like, s s there's just so many words that were just created by Shakespeare, and it's kind of interesting. You know, you can actually, he actually earned the title wordsmith, really. Like, that that type of word got made up just for him. So, he invented words, and a word was made for him. It was kind of, well, I don't know that. I don't know if that's true, but that's how I'd like to think about it. Like, that's just, it's just such a cool thing. And the thing is, you can't even... It's hard to think without the words, right? I don't know about you. I know some people think in pictures. I think in words. In fact, there will be times when I'll be, like, thinking, and I'll actually be, you know, because I've been with a computer for so long. Uh, punching bag could really help. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this item. Unfortunately, it is not a damage up in any way, shape, or form. But uh, it is an offensive item, and one that could greatly help. Uh, when I'm thinking about stuff, and I'm kind of, There'll be times when I will be really focused on just how, how do you write that? Like, I'll be, I'll be thinking, and I'll be kind of composing in my head, and I'll be kind of tracing, sometimes like my finger up, even. Uh, well, not really my finger up, but I'll be tracing, there'll be a, you know, a keyboard in my head that I will be kind of following along with, and uh, I will be kind of writing that word in my head on the keyboard. Uh, if you have, like, an Android phone with a swipe function... Uh, that's kind of what I'm referring to. You know, I'll be, uh, I'll be swiping, and that'll be kind of my thing. And, uh, that'll be what I'll have in my head, and I'll be thinking that way. And it's kind of an interesting thought, and I think in words. And I think, like, it's kind of said that if you don't have the word for, for a thing, you can't think it. Um, and I don't know how true that is necessarily. But, like, for instance, if you don't have the word for gun, unless you have... Like, the association to go with that... Unless you have the idea of a gun. How can you think about one? You know, how can you... What's more, how can you convey the thought of gun? You know, you can use the words like... You know, round metal tube with explosion of one that fires... Oh, great. He went after the punching bag. Uh, you, you know, round metal tube that fires, fires projectiles out of one end... You know, yeah, that's a gun, but it's it's really hard to think like that. And how often have you had that I have that um, that 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 moment where you're saying, "Man, what what is the word for that? What's the word for what? The smell, the smell after it rains. What is the word for that?" You know, yeah, you can think about the smell after it rains, but unless you have a word for it, I don't think that I don't think that thought comes up much. I don't know. Power of words is amazing. And it's a power that we give it. The word doesn't... It doesn't do anything unless you give it that power. And I think that's, you know, a really good example of that is the word gay. When that used to, you know, mean uh, generally happy and and excited and things like that. You know, that used to be the meaning of that word. And then eventually it became into a derogatory term referring to, uh, you know, well, went to refer to gay men you know, homosexual men, and then it went to be a derogatory term. And it went to be derogatory because for some reason, some person decided that, hey, this word that means happy should mean, um, uh, you know, should be uh, a derogatory term. Should be, uh, not a pejorative, I don't think it's the right word, but they suddenly decided that, hey, this should be a thing. And it's, you know, we have the power to stop that. <laughs> and not everybody will, you know. Not everybody will decide that, okay, well, I don't feel like this should be a thing anymore. But I think that uh, with a lot of people, I think you you could, you know, you 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 could stop. Not necessarily you should have to. I don't want to be. I don't want to be the the thought police. I don't want to be the censor police. You know, if you want to use the damn word, use the damn word. But it's one of those ideas that well, maybe we could stop. Maybe we should stop. Like not because someone's censoring you or anything like that, but because 
you know, the use of that word is actually pretty negative, and that's actually hurtful to people, and we really should not be trying to hurt other people. We should be trying to do the opposite. We should be trying to help each other and be good to each other. Kind of goes along with the uh, with a Super Bowl ad we had this year, the Like a Girl Super Bowl ad. I don't know if you guys saw it. Uh, I saw it, I think it came up twice while I was watching. And I thought it was a pretty powerful statement. I just had a bunch of kids, right? Just start out with teenagers and uh, boys and girls alike, which is really what got my attention. And they said, what does it mean to run like a girl? And, uh, you know, th they were showing off this, this really wimpy and and just kind of depressing look. Like, you know, yeah, you know, like there was no there was no power behind it. There was no, you know, authority behind it. Like it was the really wimpy, you know, like a girl. It was, the, it was that feel to it, that, you know, this is a very weak thing. It doesn't really, it's, it's not a very good thing. And, you know, what does it mean to throw like a girl? Eh. You know, what does it mean to, and they went through this list, and they were talking about, oh, that is not at all what I was trying to buy. I wasn't trying to buy anything, actually. I was just trying to move, but hey, you know, that's there now. But, uh, yeah, they were, you know, w w what does it mean to... And then they went and they actually asked some girls what it means. And girls said the same thing, which, you know, that just that just boggled my mind. You just talked to a girl about it. And even she said that to like a girl or to do this like a girl was this supremely negative thing. This just bleh, you know? It just I could I couldn't believe it that this could actually like you could actually get a girl to tell this to you. Because that's just stupid to me. That's nuts that you can get someone to really just malign themselves in that way. So, ooh, skinny odd mushroom with Max's head. That's or Cricket's head rather. It's pretty good. Gives me a damage downgrade, yes, but it's still really good. So you know, it just it just it boggled my mind to think that somehow these girls were so you know kind of put upon with with a description of their own gender that they would agree to it. And, you know, the idea of the, um, of the commercial, I, I mean, keep in mind, it was a women's deodorant commercial, so there is a certain amount of, uh, weirdness, uh, implied with that. But the, uh, you know, the idea was that if we kind of choose not to use that phrase in a negative way, and they were showing, you know, l young girls, girls who hadn't been, um, who hadn't been kind of indoctrinated this way, and they were showing that they don't think that way, they don't think that like a girl is a bad thing. Which I thought was amazing. That, like, that's a great thing to show me. Show me that. That's, that's awesome. So they were showing that like a girl doesn't have to be a bad thing. It doesn't have to be a negative thing. Which I thought was a definite good thing to show. And, um, you know, they were saying, well, what, you know, what would happen if we just stopped using it? You know, because they were saying that around the age of, you know, 11 or 12, when you start hearing it a lot this suddenly becomes a really big deal. This just very simple word that in no way should be, it really shouldn't be a thing. I already have mom's purse, so yeah. Yeah, in no way should that be a negative thing. So it's a very powerful thing and it's words that we made. Like we as a group, collectively, as English speakers, apparently decided that like a girl was a very weak and negative thing. And, you know, I, I don't want to really, I don't really want to get into the argument, or I don't even want to hear the argument of, you know, girls are weaker than boys. It doesn't matter. That's not what it's all about. At the end of the day, like, we're talking about, um, a really, we're talking about a really crappy selection of, uh, of items. Now, at the end of the day, we're not talking about, you know, are girls stronger than boys or are girls weaker than boys. What we're talking about is making an entire... Uh, gender have a phrase that belittles them, and that's you know that's that, that, that not not a thing that we should be doing. Uh, not at all, and that's kind of what I'm talking about. That those are the types of things that we as a people decide not worth it, unless I can get out of there somehow. Um, you know, we as a group of people decide what those words mean, and we could not have that, which I think is the ideal would be to not have those words mean that. Uh, we got Super Pride, which I nailed to the wall really quickly. I think we can safely take the left hand. I think that would be okay. 
um, because the red chests could get me guppy. So I think that could be an okay thing for us to take. But uh, yeah, we can we can decide that. And so, you know, I really think that yeah, you know, we shouldn't be kind of saying, well, you know, to get back to the original point of the story, the point of my endless tangents. Hey, look, the poop. Wow, that's helpful. To get back to my endless tangents. You know, we have uh, we have learned words like fuck and shit, and all those kinds of words, and you know, they're they're not. They only hold the weight we have behind them. And I remember seeing a amazing Penn and Teller skit. No, well, not skit. It was part of the Penn and Teller uh, Penn and Teller show bullshit, which uh, if you haven't seen yet, I do highly recommend it. I love that show. And actually, they did an entire episode on what I'm talking about right now. And I'm trying not to steal their thunder. I'm trying not to say the stuff they did, but they did make a point that I loved. Uh, was um, specifically about speech. And it was talking about... Uh, the idea of replacing speech. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with finding a new exclamation. No? Okay, hold on. I'm not giving him any more keys right now. We're gonna go to the boss and see what this... Oh, great. We have the Fallen. Okay, this could be really good or really bad, really kind of depending on how fast I can kill these guys. Nope, no, no, no. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that gives me the razor blade, which I can't use. Please don't. Okay. Well, that really sucks. Okay, let's just use it once. Please? Crap. Two really crappy items. We're just, we're just getting crapped on. Like, we're just, just, we're just getting shit on so badly here. Uh, that is a secret rock. Tinted rock. Did not contain small rock. <clears throat> but, um, we have such... Such an ability to go, you know to basically take an idea. So in this case, the idea of a curse word, and to replace it with something else and to pretend that it's something different anyways. So if you if you if you replace, you know, damn with gosh, for example, and you use gosh in the same way as you use damn, you didn't just stop saying damn. That's not actually what happened. What you did is you just said something different. You meant the same thing. And I don't know about you, but kind of in my mind, if you meant the same thing, that means you said the same thing. You didn't all of a sudden stop cursing. You just said something else. So Balderdash is still, you know, if you say it without meaning a curse word, it isn't a damn curse word. If you say it and you mean a curse word, it is a curse word. If you say, uh, the one that they were showing up in the, uh, episode, which I loved, was some woman who, she was going around and crusading, which <laughs> just cracked me up. She was crusading about the words, about using, uh, well, about using curse words. And she was encouraging people to use the, use the, uh, words, Santa Vaca, holy cow. Which, as Penn and Teller are pointing out, that's not maligning, oh, uh, she also didn't want people to take the Lord's name in vain. And that's, using the word Santa Vaca, holy cow, that's not maligning your god, it's maligning someone else's god. Because, you know, for example, to the Indians, a cow is holy, so you're just kind of throwing that in their face. Which, unacceptable, really. But it's also, if you're saying it with the intention for that to be a curse, then it is a curse. You didn't just suddenly stop it from being a curse. And there were even classes of people of similar mind who were saying, use the word, you know, use the word balderdash as if that actually changed anything. And I was, like, I was just flabbergasted. Like, I really was. It was just such a weird thing to be sitting there and going, do you really believe this? You really believe that this is a thing that you can say and it doesn't mean the same thing? What was even funnier is that she, she thought that you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't flip people off, which, you know, especially if you're in a car setting, which is the time she was talking about, that it's it's probably a dangerous thing to be flipping someone off. You know, you're going to be pissing someone off in the first place. Tears down? Okay. Well, it's not too bad because we have really high tears. Oh, those are... Okay. Uh, we... I want to get in there. Um, you know, you're taking your hand off the wheel, and you're potentially uh, building into road rage. Like, you're... You're just you're going to have a bad time if you make that happen. So she was talking about instead of flipping someone off, you should use two hands, and she called it the turkey. But it was a gesture that looked kind of like a turkey, if you look at it. And 
the idea was, well, it uses two hands, so you, you know, you can't do it. And I'm just going, wait, 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 what? It's like, you, you know, it means taking both hands off the wheel, so you can't really do this. And I'm sitting there thinking, what stops you? But, you know, the idea was, take two hands off the wheel, and you make a different gesture, and apparently that allows you to get your feelings out while simultaneously, um, I don't know, like, that was, that was where she lost me. You're getting your feelings removed while making a silly gesture, and but it has to be done by a different person. So it's not you who's making who's who's getting these feelings removed. You're you're, you're you're the other person is acting in your stead. And I don't know about you guys, but if someone else were to curse for me, I wouldn't feel as if I had cursed and had gotten you know the catharsis of getting that really negative feeling out of me. So um, just really weird. This is probably okay. Well, Book of Belial is definitely where I'm going to go, because that's damage up. We're definitely going to go with, uh, yeah, Spirit of the Night, because that gives me Spectral Tears. Let's go, we need to go deeper on the off chance that, no, it did not give us, um, a thing. Okay, uh, we still, how much do I want to search? The question is, how much do I still want to look around this floor? We're doing really good. We're on Catacombs 2 with 11 minutes. I think we're just going to move on. Yeah, I think we're going to go. I think we're good. I really do. I think we're doing fine. But you can't, um, you, know, you can't say a different word with the same feeling, the same inflection, and go, oh, okay, it's a different word. No, you just said it, you just, you put different letters to it. And the thing is, it's, words are what we make of them. So if you use a, if you just put different letters, congratulations, you know, if you, if you curse with the, you know, that the, that, you know, that the thing, or whatever like this, turn, turn into a gerund, sure, let's do that, let's turn into a gerund. But if you curse with the word the, you just turned the into a curse. Congratulations. Now you're cursing any time you need to use an article. <laughs> you know? It's, you can't, it's just not a thing you can do. Balls of steel, doesn't matter. Bombs are key, doesn't matter. But I'll hold on to it on the off chance that, uh, that I can use it. Okay, let's continue moving on. I don't know. I've run out of steam on that rant. I do, I, I do think that, uh, people need to be less, just less, <laughs> you know, I, I think that's how I can say that, people just need to be less, people need to, you know, not have that feeling that, I guess that holier than thou feeling, that I can, see, now I'm gonna be a damn hypocrite, because I want to say that people shouldn't have the feeling they control what others say, and I'm on this rant about how we shouldn't be, that, that we can control what we say. And I think, though, I want to, see, it's, 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 it's hypocritical. I'm going to admit that. I'm a hypocrite. But I would like to suggest that we make the conscious decision as a society that all of us say, you know what, this may not be. You know, we shouldn't be saying it like this because that's hurtful to people and we should not be hurting people. That's not, that's not our intentions as most, most human beings. Like, you know, I can't speak for you. You, you may be, it may be your intention to hurt people. You know what, if you do, I, you and I are not going to be friends. But, um, you know, I think that, uh, God, I, just the fact that we're getting so far and we haven't gotten nine lives, I'm really getting worried that we're going to get to, um, we're going to get to mom and I'm going to have no nine lives and we're going to be in a really big trouble. Okay, let's split these guys up. Bra the guts don't really bother me right now. Okay, let's go into here. Pop this immediately. I'm really worried about this fight because this guy has a hell of a lot of health. And uh, he has that attack, which like half homes in and half doesn't. I don't know if I'm safe above, above rocks from that attack. Okay, just go away. He's dead. Amazing. Safety pin is another shot speed up. This is probably going to be Krampus. Okay, we need to get rid of some of these fires. I don't like these fires being here. Let's get rid of this. Oh, go away. Go away, go away, go away. We got him. Got the world card. Doesn't really help us. I'm going to get rid of the bombs or key. Okay, 
Um, we're just gonna go down. We're just, we're just gonna go down. There's not anything I want on this floor. Come on. Like, nine lives is the one thing I really want. And because I'm not being given it, just it's. Let's just go down. We're having so much bad luck right now. Okay, that's that. Okay, we're gonna go down. We're gonna go down again. But yeah. Run out of steam. And I don't know what to say about, I mean, this. I don't know what to say about this run. Um, I'm really very scared of this run. Because we're doing really well, and it's usually around the time that we start doing really well that I start getting screwed. So, uh, Mom's Contact is uh, just uh, goddamn amazing. Like, this is probably one of the effects that I need the most right now. Um, I don't really want to reset this run. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this open. There's still a chance that we could get uh, a really good item from our shop. Unfortunately, we are due a... Uh, we are due something bad. So, you know, I'm not so sure about this one. Okay, let's go ahead and kill him. Yeah, we are due some really bad effects. Oh, go! Oh, God damn it, that was scary. This one fires some really big shots at me. We are due a uh, greed. Oh, it happened. Okay, I need the money. We're gonna hit this three times. One. Two, three. I know that we're losing money out of this out of the machine. Um, I can put it back in later, but I, like, we could totally win this. We're gonna do it one more time, actually. Let's see if we can get this guy as well. Unfortunately, it did not give me what I wanted. Okay, give me that. Thank you, Book of Blau. You've done me well, but I think that Magic Fingers, with the damage that we have right now, is probably the better choice. It's a very much damage we have. We're going to test our damage in just a second. Okay, it's not quite enough to kill a Gertie, uh, a Girdling, but, um, you know, it might be enough to kill some minor enemies. Nope. Okay. So we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to hope that I can use it pretty well later on. Purity. So I'm going to be able to just ignore. Can I kill these things? Those things take two shots. So we're going to need a lot more money to really fund this. Okay. Hopefully I'll be able to, I'm going to spam it on mom, so. So that helps, that definitely helps. Okay, now keep in mind, we, we need to be very careful, because we don't, uh, we're out of money, okay. We do not have, uh, okay, come on. No, 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 did it, we did it. Okay, we need to go to negative. Okay. Uh... Guppy's head. I mean, thank you, but it's not what I want, not what I need. Okay, now I gotta go do this. What's in here? Um, I have to do it, I have to win, is the problem. I made it in plenty of time. I mean, the issue is I have to win. I don't have the ability to win right now. So I think what we need to do... I mean, Magic Fingers isn't helping me all that much is the problem. <sighs> but if I do this, I'm going to die. I know I'm going to die. I'm going gonna, gonna to have to... Yeah, we're, we're, we're just going to go. I just don't think that would help me at all. I think that doing that would, would get us killed. And unfortunately, because we don't have any... Um... Oh, God. Because we don't have nine lives... Uh, I don't want to risk it. We have a really good run here. I'm just amazed that we don't have nine lives yet. It's just, it's astonishing to me that we do not have that item. With as many red chests as we're getting. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. Please give me money. Keys. Great. The other secret room is all the way down there on the left there. Okay, so we have we have our item or we have our boss room. We know where that is. Just have to very carefully make my way across here. These things are terrifying. 
And luckily I have the range to really uh, kind of work on this, but oh god. Just gotta keep on working on these things. Please tell me there's no more. Okay. Uh, we don't know what this is. Hematomesis doesn't matter to me. Get my keys. Miss Fred I can deal with. So I can basically just hit him from here. Okay, come on. We do get a deal with the devil on this floor. Mr. Fred's dead. He gives us wire cut anger, so it tears up. That's amazing. Okay, and nothing. No brimstone. No dead cat. Okay. I mean, sure. I could have, instead of Magic Fingers, gone with me to go deeper, and I'm actually beginning to think that that probably was the better choice. Okay, we still have a chance of making something happen. I mean, it's not a very good chance, but... Oh, God. Oh, I cannot believe we made it this far just on nothing. Well, it's, uh, we haven't made it this far on nothing. That would be kind of slandering what we've had. We've had some really damn good items that have gotten us to where we are so far. You know, starting out with Max's head. Or Cricket's head, really. Starting out with Cricket's head. God, that was so close to being damaged. And moving on from there, we've gotten some good stuff. That has really helped us out. What we haven't gotten is, you know, kind of the holy trifecta of things that I really, really want, which are, you know, Brimstone, Guppy, and, uh, um, what's the other one? Like, come on, come on, come on, ah! Nine lives, Brimstone, and Holy Mantle. I'm just gonna have to go for it. I don't think this gives us anything on this floor, does it? Yeah, wait, yes it does. Oh, well. Well, that could be a thing. If I can survive this. That is an instant kill on, um... That's an instant kill on Mom's heart. So that would at least get me to the next floor. Well, that's right. That's the guaranteed drop on this floor. I forgot about that. That's not bad. Yeah, that, that item has to give you down this floor. And you know what? I'll take it. Okay, let's, uh... I really don't like this room. Not a fan of this room in the slightest. Okay, can I kill this thing? I want to kill them one by one and just use my range for my advantage. We have huge range right now. And this is going really well. Talking to the, I was talking to uh, to my mom's beau earlier, and uh, I forget I forget if he's a psychiatrist or a therapist. He's he's in one of those two veins, one of those disciplines. And um, I was talking to him, and we were discussing something. I forget what the exact exactly how this subject uh, came up, but um, I had a uh, customer last night, and this customer, the actual, like, there was the dad and the kid, and the dad was, no, and there's the death, oh god, well, I guess that is gonna wait for another time, I'll see you guys next time.